Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a cool program that you can use to uh, change your IP address. Not permanently, it's just on the program that you use. It changes your IP for the internet. Um, like right here. Um, this is probably the most effective way I use this, so or used to use it. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. All right, let me go to wow status dot. I think it's org. <clears throat> All right, or no, net. Let me. There we go. All right. So these are World of Warcraft private servers. Um. Let me just go to. Let me just go to one, and I'm gonna show you guys how I. You can use this program. The program is called. Um, the program is called Tor, T-O-R. We're going to get to that in a second, though. Alright, let me get to the... Okay, now see, I'm going to vote for it. Let me copy this link. Let me go G, G3, 4K. Alright, thank you for your vote. You will be redirected shortly. Now that will bring me back here, and if I try and vote again... It does not let me because this is I've already voted for this server. All right. So what I'm going to want to do is you're going to want to go to google.com. All right. And then you're going to want to type T-O-R. Then Tor Project. Anonymy Online. You're going to want to uh, go, go to that. Hit download Tor right here. Um, they have it for Windows, Linux, and uh, Apple OS. So you're going to want to download it, and then after you do, you extract it to your desktop uh, using the exe that it gives you. And you go here, and you do Start Tor Browser. Sorry, just don't mind my phone while this starts. My house phone is ringing. Alright, now just, just let this start. It has to connect all the way to the internet and everything. Alright, authenticating to Tor. Just give it a moment. Just let me come back to you guys right when it's right when it's done loading. Alright, um it's it's connected now and um at right after it connects, uh it should open Mozilla Firefox. Uh, even if you have it or not, they have this, um, whoops, they have this thing called a portable browser, and that, right here, this is what it is, and they use it so that it changes, they have this the built-in thing right here, let me show you guys, if you see at the bottom right corner of the YouTube video, I'm gonna bring it up because, come on, alright, so, at the bottom right uh, of the um, of the Mozilla Firefox window it says Tor enabled. That means your IP can change. All right, so let me show you guys how to use this. So I'm sorry about my computer speed; it's going pretty slow. I don't know why. All right, so I have Vil Vilalia. I, I I don't know how to say that. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, you have that open, and then I'm going to go to whatismyip.com, and I understand the risks, add exception, confirm, alright, I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever, um, go to what is my IP, or I'll just go to IP chicken. IPChicken.com. All right, just let this load. Okay, my IP address is 199.48.147.38. Now, right now, I'm going to change it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the control panel for Tor, and you're going to want to go to Use a New Identity. Now, as you see, it came with a little message that says your IP address will be renewed, or whatever. As you see, my IP address is still the same, or I think it changed. Let me just keep refreshing. <clears throat> Alright, 
it should it it will uh change after it, it takes a second account sometimes you do not also want to mess with any of the settings on the control panel just let it do what it does If it doesn't change, go back to it and use a new identity again, because sometimes all the identities are taken. Alright. When you're able to click on this again, that usually means that it worked. Alright. So let me refresh again. Alright, so this is completely different. It's 66.230.230.230. That's kind of a random IP, but okay. So that's really it. That's how you use this Tor browser. I will you leave links in the description to everything uh, for the download and such. So that's really it. Um, also, soon I will be making iPod Touch uh, jailbreak tutorial for a 4.1. If you do use that and you would like to jailbreak your iPod and you have not updated from 4.1 to 4.2.1, um, I will also be using this channel to do to help you jailbreak that. Um, also, uh, if you have iTunes 10.10.1, do not upgrade to 10.1.1 because then you are not able to downgrade anymore. But if you if you have um, if you have 10.1.1, then just discard this message. So that's mainly it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you if this helped you a lot, please, uh, please subscribe and rate. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll see you guys later. Bye.